hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys um this uh i've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of requests in regards to egg interpretations and because of the high volume i wanted to do a spell that can actually help you guys um even if you don't really know how to interpret the egg cleansing um so if if you don't know how to do an egg cleansing go to my channel check that out as uh, there's two videos of how to do the cleansing how to uh, do a full sweep once you do that you can come to this video i'm going to teach you guys how to protect yourself and send back whatever it is that has been sent your way whether like i said whether you don't really have much knowledge or don't really understand or the egg interpretation is a bit confusing for you you can just do this spell um this is going to assist you like i said creating a wall of protection but also sending back whatever it is that has been sent your way whether it's as simplistic as envy and jealousy to actually doing some type of candle magic against you that will automatically send it back to um the target or the person that has done this or sent this your way um i've been seeing a lot of um on social media a lot of ways of doing this and i'm going to teach you guys the correct way to do it um and the reason i say correct way is again a lot of the times if you guys follow me on instagram you know that i'm always about um making things simplistic if you follow me on instagram i'm always giving you guys witchy tips um things that you can do for yourself at home to protect yourself etc um but i also do address a lot of the bullshit that people put out there um you know like a spell for abundance and they put cinnamon in their hands and then they're washing their hands with water you do not want to do that type of shit so again i'm going to teach you guys the correct way of doing this um so anyways and the reason why i actually decided to do this i just did a cleansing for a client um and it was kind of an emergency type of thing because their health has just been drastically declining and they've been having a lot of issues issues in regards to their relationship and in regards to their finances so once we did the re, um the cleansing and i did the reading for the client i asked them if i can use this as a example um, as this is going to be part of a work that i'm going to be doing for him but i wanted to show you guys um a little bit of what the process is so anyways like i said if you don't know how to do the a cleansing you want to do this for yourself but you don't know how to interpret go to my other videos where i'm teaching guys how to do the a cleansing the full sweep then you can come back to this video and this is as this is defense magic um to send back to return whatever's been sent your way anyways i wanted to show you guys really quick um if you can see here how cloudy it is it is like extremely cloudy um not only that but you can see that the egg actually uh broke so the yolk is you know pretty broken and the yolk is always a representation of your physical body uh so which would make a lot of sense the fact that their health has been declining drastically and again the cloudiness and the imagery that we picked up um just wanted to show you guys this really quick so anyways obviously we know that the um bad juju has been sent his way as well as some type of candle magic that has been worked on him we're going to be creating a defense this is defense magic and it is to return uh to that person that has been sending bullshit to them so anyways like i said if you don't know how to interpret your eggs that's fine if you see cloudiness if you see anything that is similar to this you can do the spell and it's going to automatically send back whatever energy has been sent your way uh keep a watchful eye because when this happens when you do this you will notice uh people around you start to have difficulties or problems or you'll hear about drama going off that's an indication that that's the person you want to keep at a distance um because it is signaling that that a lot of this energy may be coming from that person so uh, like i said keep a watchful eye for that anyways what you're going to be needing you're going to be needing three um three nails you're going to be needing three different types uh, which are two different uh, chilies so it's three total 
you're also going to be needing a lime you're going to be needing some black salt you're going to be needing some black pepper you're going to be needing a shot of milk you're going to be needing some type of um, banishment or go away powder and ground pepper and of course some vinegar as you guys can see here the vinegar as you guys know vinegar with milk doesn't mesh it will uh, create a lot of blockages it starts to turn you know the water into blocks um, and that's an indication of the creation of blockages on their path obviously black pepper and chili is always used in defense magic or um, chaotic type of spell work and the black magic um, to not only push them out of your life but to create that protective barrier um, so that's what you're going to be needing it's very simplistic it's probably ingredients that you already have now Another thing that I could, um, or I would highly advise you guys, it is not necessary, um, but I would use poppy seeds, and that's what I'm going to be using here. Why? Because poppy seeds creates a lot of confusion. It creates a lot of of like cloudiness of the mind, and that's what you want. Why? Because you don't want them to see this shit coming. You want to keep yourself as protected as possible. As an example, shit starts to go bad for them if they go to people or if they go to someone that may give them clarity towards where this is coming from obviously you're just protecting yourself right they shouldn't have fucked with you in the first place but anyways the poppy seeds it's going to keep them uh blinded to whatever it is or where this is coming from it creates again like i said a lot of confusion a lot of cloudiness of their mind uh not being able to put one and one together so uh, that's the reason why we're going to be using poppy seeds uh so anyways once you've done the egg cleansing and you have it as we have it here, give me one second. All right, my lovely, so we're going to put these to the side and let's get to the witching. All right, my lovely, so as you guys can see, we're going to start off here uh, with the, um, the egg cleansing that you did. Make sure to put it in a glass container. Uh, with a lid that you're going to be using because we're going to put all of the ingredients together and let it sit for three days after the third day what you're going to do is you're going to take this out of your home and toss it away in a garbage um, in a trash can or in a public uh, trash where it's not going to be in your home very important and very crucial you guys all right so what we're going to do now is we are going to add some of the chilies here so i'm adding a whole one as such and then the other half cut up we're going to add some of the chilies We're going to add some of the red pepper. We're going to add some of the get away from me powder. Now we're going to add some of the black pepper. And of course the poppy seeds, you guys, like I said, you want to create confusion. You want to create chaos in their wake. So now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, squeeze the lime in here as such okay and I'm going to dip it in there it is a bit overflowing that is completely okay give me one second OK, 
Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the black salt and add some on here. Can't really open this. This is where you would add some of the vinegar. Um, I'm using apple cider vinegar only because the dark vinegars are amazing for chaotic spell work. Um, I forgot to record that so I've already put that on there. And now we're going to add the nails in here. And finally, we are going to add the milk. Now, as you guys can see here, it's overflowing, which is perfectly okay because what I do is I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to leave it like this in my altar for two days. By the third day, um, this is going to be a little bit more down and I'm going to be able to add in the remaining of the milk. Obviously, lime, vinegar, and milk does not mesh. Um, and what we're doing is we're sending this back to um, the person or the people that have been sending us bad juju. Um, so once you have everything ready to go, once it is done, you're going to bless it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate um, this jar to be a symbolization and representation of sending back to those that have wished harm upon me. I reject it, I banish it now, and release it away from me, from my mind, body, and spirit, sending back to them that which they wished upon me in their wake. Let them experience, let them feel, let them know not to ever cross me again. Let them feel, let them see, not to ever cross me again. Let them know, let them see, never to cross me again. Once you do that, you're done, my lovelies. You're going to put this in your altar or you're going to keep it in a place uh, that is going to be undisturbed. If it is, you know, not overflowing, you can close it at this point and just leave it there. Within those three days, you can shake it. Um, you can move it around, etc., whatnot. I don't mess with it for two days. After the second day before I close it, I make sure to put the remaining of the milk in here and toss it away from the home, like I said. So ideally, go to a park or somewhere that it's going to be away from your home that you can dispose of this. And again, like I said, um, keep a watchful eye because you're going to start to see. And oftentimes, this is the sad part, but oftentimes it comes from people that are very close to us um, that you start to see shit happen in their lives where it's like it seems like it's one thing after the other. That's because this shit is returning to them tenfold. So again, be keep a watchful eye. Uh, after the third day, you're going to dispose of this, toss this away from your home. You don't want it in your home. You don't want it near you. Um, and just let it be. Don't fuss about it. Don't don't worry about it. Let things unfold the way they're supposed to. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you um, more keys of wisdom and knowledge to protect yourself, to protect your family and your loved ones, and to keep this type of fuckery away from you. Um Again, like I said, if you guys like these spells uh, or if you do them, go ahead and come back. Let us know what your results were uh, so that you can let other people know as well. I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Until then, bye.